Yeah. My pro debut, the guy was, uh, he came in heavy, 10 pounds over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but, uh, but I sold a bunch of tickets, man, so I, I fought him anyway. He was a big, big dude, man. He was like a bodybuilder on him. But I knocked him out in the first round. So it worked out. That was great. <laughs> Good punishment for uh, a guy being unprofessional. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 10 pounds over. Hey. Yeah, it was great. Good body work, Steven. Good center upstairs, downstairs, really, really good. The combo of variations and the volume, obviously, you don't want to bat your eyes on it, but it, it's fascinating how Jose Lopez continues to, to walk through some of these combos. And you know, this this is a good, you know, a pro debut, this is a tough guy in Lopez, a skilled guy, and for Nararo to just be so comfortable and, and fight on, at this rhythm, man, it just shows a lot of the kind of fighter that he is. End of round number three. And for Steven Navarro, punches and bunches here in Vegas. Credit Jose Lopez, sticking tough, continuing to come forward. You have to wonder, though, as this fight progresses and gets into the second half, will that be his undoing as he's monitored here in the corner by the doctors? And that's a good shot right there um, for Nararo. He goes right hook and then right uppercut. It's like a Mike Tyson shot right there. It's my boy Marvin in the corner. <laughs> Shout out to Marvin. Marvin Simodo. Navarro has trained at all those famous LA gyms that you two are obviously accustomed to, familiar with. Again, back at the Matrim Churchill Boxing Gym right now. Throws a stiff left hand right to the face of, the, of Lopez to start off round number four. Steven starting this round south part as well. Steve, if you have a, an opponent who continues to eat your shots and also continue just to keep coming forward, how do you adjust? You know, you just keep doing what Nararo's doing. You know, stick to the game plan and stay disciplined because you can get bored sometimes because you're dominated so easily where, you know, you can kind of get lax of daisy, make a mistake and get caught. So you don't want to do that. You want to stay focused. A series of right uppercuts smear in the face of Lopez. Ooh, nice. And a right hook followed by another uppercut from Navarro. He is finding the holes here on Jose Lopez. And again, a chopping right hand. And just by the variations of punches that Navarro throws and the, and the different angles, is he has good imagination. You know, to be able to put these shots together like that, man, that just says a lot of his mindset of the kind of fighter he is and he's creative and just creating these shots. I'm also seeing top-notch hand placement, getting his glove just behind the guard and some of these shots of, of Jose Lopez. Good defense, too. You know, he's rolling his shots, catching his shots with his hands and elbows. Kind of shooting. There's another one. Nice angle. You know, he, 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 bare, he, he almost landed that shot, man, but it was a good angle. Creating um, an opening to throw that right hook. And it's frustrating, man, when you're hitting the guy with, with yeah. these hard shots and he's not going anywhere, man. Cause, he's coming. Yeah. You know, usually guys start a pro debut with a guy that, you know, pretty much is, you know, we call him cab driver. Yeah, cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, Lopez is tough. And on top of that, he, Steven's done something with four rounds, done with a six-round fight. He just shows the, the pedigree he came out of the amateurs with. And he just wants to start quick and start, start fast. Yeah, this was something Navarro wanted a six rounder to start off his pro career check right hand again meets the the cheek of Lopez 
even his, his, his foot position is just always on point. He always knows uh, to put the, his lead foot outside when he's a southpaw. He's, everything's going good right now for Steven. We're through four here in Vegas, and it has been a successful pro debut to this point for Steven Navarro. Man, there's that good, yeah, there's that good Mike Tyson shot right there. The, the rip in the right to the body and then coming up top at the uppercut. Again, finding the placement with, with shots like that right hand moments ago went right behind the left glove of Lopez. We've seen a number of those. Good credit to Lopez continuing to come forward. No quit. In the 25-year-old. Oh, yeah, Lopez is a warrior. He just, no matter what, he's keep coming forward. No matter oh, for what. For sure, he's trying, man. He's trying. <laughs> Two-punch combo right at the start of round number five from Steven Navarro. Again, scheduled for six. Navarro's pro debut against Jose Lopez. Stop, stop, stop. Opposite, opposite. Here we go. Right in front of him. Another thing from the opening bell, you can notice uh, Steven got his timing down real quick. He, he, he got his opponent's timing down and it's great distance already. He's, he came in ready. Not for sure. Good body shot right there. What does that do for a fighter when you're able to, you know, I hate saying the, the cliche phrase, but when you're able to download all of that info early on, what does that what does that do for your confidence? No, it, it helps you a lot because um, you once you get kind of like the, your opponent's timing down and his uh, what he likes to do, his patterns, it, it helps you know pick your shots way way better, and you, you get to walk them down more. You know your distance very well. There's a lot of things that that, that, that happen as you can uh, analyze as the fight goes on. Does it slow down the action in front of you? Definitely, man. It slows down the pace. You know the fight can be action packed, throwing a hundred punches of rounds, but. You know, when you got a guy's timing down, it's like all slow motion. You're just in a rhythm. Like how Steven said, you just you just flowing like how he said it. When he's just thinking about the jazz song, he's just flowing in that ring. Steven calls it being in the matrix. <laughs> That's a great word. He's able to just everything that comes at him, he says it's it's slower in his eyes. And he is in full control here in his pro debut. And again, against the game and battle-tested Jose Lopez. Lopez just keeps coming forward no matter what. And Navarro doesn't miss, man. The accuracy's on point. You know, he's not wasting shots. He's throwing a lot of shots, but they're landing. Mm -hmm. Look at that short, that short left uppercut followed with the right hook. And I like that. You see that slip and counter immediately. You know, sometimes guys slip, but they don't counter. You know, he slips and he makes you pay. During the, the fighter meetings, Lopez thought Navarro was going to use the skills that carried him in the amateurs. And like Jesus Martinez, who we fought last year, also another Cuban bronze medalist in the Olympics. Lopez felt like he was going to be able to walk through Navarro's punches and keep bringing the pressure. But he's just absorbing more and more punishment here. Because he's not throwing as many punches as he threw in those two previous fights. And you know, Navarro's fighting a pro style. You know, he's not he's not pop-shotting or trying to just score points. He's throwing punches with mean intentions. You know, he's trying to get you out of there. This is a young pro who has adapted to the pro game seamlessly. He's, it's like he's been waiting for this. His style is meant for the pros. Right here, man, just good, good quick counter shots. The backs of ice are growing in the Lopez court. <laughs> There again, Steven's father and head trainer, Rufuyo. 
I tell you, those big bags of ice, man, keep you in the game. That's an old school thing. <laughs> you know, sometimes I see uh, corners with little in swells and, and stuff like that. I'm like, nah, man, just bring a big bag of ice. I might, I might have to get that out for my next fight. Then. No, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna that. <laughs> big bag of ice, man, like that. On the back of the net, on your face, man, it's great. And on your chest as well. Yeah, for sure. Sixth and final round between Navarro and Lopez here in Vegas. Lopez again continuing to move forward on Navarro. I mean, Navarro's just showing good stamina. You know, he's not, he hasn't lost his step. And, you know, the speed is the same, the movement. Full control. Looks like he can go 10 rounds easy. Navarro with the head movement along the ropes. Punches have certainly slowed down from Lopez as he eats a left hand from Navarro. And another left hand. Eating flush. Steven Navarro. A little burst here in round six. Man, that's a great simple move that he just did right there with the, when he switched the angles. Uh, to avoid a body shot, it's crafty stuff. Well, the combos have slowed down a bit in round six for Navarro, but the punches that he is landing, those single shots, they are finding a home. Nice. And another one off the angle out. Yep. It's a great angle. Followed up with the at uh, that hook. It's like he's trying to sit down more and punch his last, his last round. He's trying to get the, get the show down. Yeah. He has about 90 seconds to try and Get this stoppage. Navarro, the young Mexican-American, takes a low blow out of Inglewood. Shining nice. in his pro debut as he rocks Lopez with another left hook. It's a great, great slip counter shot. Man, this is uh, great basics and fundamentals, man. Great boxing. Kind of low. So 45 seconds to go here in the sixth and final round. And Navarro again. Left hand that finds the mark. Whew, big right hand. That lands from Navarro. Lopez felt that. He held on. Yeah, Lopez is hurt by that shot. Wobbly legs Backing for up, yep. Jose Lopez. 25 seconds to go. Ken Navarro, Kid Dynamite, stop the Great. show, and he does a good stoppage from Robert Boyle. And in his pro debut, Kid Dynamite throws the bombs and gets the victory here in Vegas. Great pro debut for Steven. Look, look great. Uh, dominated each and every round. Great show. Man, I, he has a fun style. Fun style, man. Bunch of punches, combinations, great, great footwork. This guy's fun to watch. Jose Lopez being stopped for the first time. And it was that right hand that started it that wobbled Lopez. Navarro sensed it. And so did the official in the ring as Navarro picks up the stoppage in the sixth round. And he showed that killer instincts. Once he uh, once he heard Lopez, man, he just backed him up immediately to the ropes and let his hands go. So Steven Navarro in his pro debut. Now 1-0. and oh. We'll go back to Inglewood and continue his training. I mean, he said he wants to work frequently here in 2024. He wants about five fights before the end of the year. Nice counter shot, man. I think that was the one that started the damage because right there, Lopez held on, and he just goes and attacks the body up top with the head, doubling up on the hook. It's a good stoppage, you know. It was just a matter of time he was going to go down. He got some rounds in, too. Got all six rounds in. Just great show. And in with, a again, a, a tough opponent, not a cab driver. Gentlemen mentioned. No man, that was that. Yeah. You know, Lopez is a real, real fighter. Yeah, this was a good, good experience for an amateur making their pro debut. I think you got a bit of everything. You, 
you see, man, Lopez is he's disappointed, man, because you know he really came to win. I would really. I would like to see more of Lopez. Yeah, for sure. He he's not a bad fighter. Navarro's just on another level. And Navarro, that level established by the amateur pedigree, 13 national amateur championships, silver medal at the Pan American Games in 2021. He's from LA, he had no interest in waiting around for the 2028 games that will take place in Los Angeles. He wants to get his pro career going. He does here tonight on a matchroom card and picks up the stoppage in the sixth round over Jose Lopez. I think he made the right choice yeah. going pro. It'd be just fine. Yep. So we're just about ready to make this official in the ring. In a six round TKO for Steven Navarro. There you see his father, Rafuyo, his manager. Sherry Mooney in the background on the apron. And in the next eight months, he wants at least five fights. <laughs> wants to work quick. Do the math. he would probably be fighting twice a month if he gets his way. <laughs> hey, man, I like that activity, you yeah. know. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Robert Hoyle calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes, 42 seconds of the sixth and final round, declaring your winner by TKO, Kid Dynamite, Steven Navarro.